Hello everyone and welcome to another part of the Unity scripting tutorial. Uh, in this video we are going to be talking about translations and rotations in Unity. And more specifically we're going to be learning how to move an object within Unity, uh, a cube, and uh, we're going to be learning how to rotate around. So we created our cube right here. Let's create our script and call this script movement. and then attach our script to the cube and open it up to get started. So the first thing that we need is to um, is to have a speed for that object. So we can have a public float and call that mSpeed so that we can edit it within Unity. And with that, that's pretty much all we need to start working on our trans translation. So we can do if input dot get key. Uh, keep in mind, you have to use get key, not get key down, because get key down is only called once when the key is pressed. It's never called again. Get key checks every single frame if the key is still pressed or not. So get key, key code dot w. And that will be our forward forward translation. Um, and in Unity, forward usually means the positive Z axis. So right here, uh, when you press, so when we press W, you want to translate along the positive Z axis. So we can say transform dot translate 0.0F on the X, 0.0F on the Y, and finally, M speed oh, M speed times time dot delta time and what multiplying by time dot delta time does is that it makes your movement um, time dependent instead of frame dependent so if you ran it for let's say one second on a really fast computer that has really high frame rate or really slow computer you would end up with the same amount of distance covered if you do it frame dependent, the fast computer would be going way faster so users wouldn't end up with a consistent experience. So now that we have that covered, we can also do else if input dot get key so that we can do our backwards movement, key code dot s. We need to transform dot translate transform dot translate same idea but in the opposite direction so minus m speed we're going along negative m speed times time dot delta time and that would be pretty much it for forward and backward movement if we go back and try to run this scene we can press w hmm, interesting um, did we attach our cube? Oh, our movement is movement speed is zero. So we need to set it to 10. There we go. And run this scene. And as you can see, the cube moves forwards and backwards. So let's implement our left and right movement. If input dot get key, key code dot D, so D would be our right direction, and since since in Unity forward and back is the Z axis, then the right direction is the positive on the X axis. So what we will do is say transform dot translate by M speed times time dot delta time zero point zero F and zero point zero F. There we go. Next up, the left side, input dot get key, key code dot, this time is A, transform dot translate, negative M speed times time dot delta time, 0.0F and 0.0F. There we go. Okay, so now we have our left and right direction set. We can go back to Unity and test it out. 
so that's right that's left forward and backwards and that seems to be working well but the problem here now is if I press W I'm going 10 along this axis if I'm pressing D I'm going 10 along this axis so if I press both W and D at the same time I'm actually moving faster than if I would go um, just along the x-axis or the z-axis first and then the x-axis. So how would we go at fixing this? And to do that, we have to use a vector 3. So what we can do is create a vector 3 and call this one m velocity. And our velocity, we're gonna, every frame, we're going to reset our velocity back to uh, zero. So vector three dot zero. And if you didn't quite catch what I mean by you moving faster if you go along the Z or the X, for example, um, if you have, if you're going along one direction, so this way at 10, and this way at 10 at the same time, your total, your total movement would be um, both of these pretty much combined. So you'd end up with more than 10 per, you would end up with more than 10 speed or velocity per second or per uh, frame pretty much, which is since we're multiplying by time dot delta time would be per second. So, um, and that's the whole idea, is that we want to avoid this situation from happening. We don't want the player to decide to just always move diagonally because diagonal movement is faster than going forward or to the side. So um, to solve this, we need to use this velocity vector and tell it that if W is pressed, then we want to go in the positive Z axis. Positive Z axis, but we don't give it any speeds. So we would say, m velocity dot z would be equal to 1.0. Of course, we don't need this anymore because we're not doing our translations within the f statement. Um, same idea for the s. So we would say m velocity equals, or m velocity dot z equals negative 1.0. Next up, is the right direction so it would be m velocity dot um, so we're going to the right side so x is going to be equal to 1.0 f and finally m velocity dot x is going to be equal to negative 1.0 there we go now that we have all this set we can say transform dot translate by our m velocity times or more specifically m velocity dot normalized times time dot delta time and what this will do is take velocity normalize it to make sure that velocity is a, a unit one vector of a vector of length one multiplied by the delta time and finally multiply it by our m speed and that would be it we have a normalized vector here the time and the speed so now if we go back to unity and try to run it it would pretty much run exactly in the same the same speed forward and back just like before side to side is the same speed but if you press these two at the same time, it would go exactly at the same speed. So your character will always have consistent speed, no matter which direction that they're going. Okay, so that covers translations. And using this way, it's probably much better than just trying to translate uh, inside these F statements right here. Okay, so moving on to um, local space and world space. For, for example, let's say if you rotate this cube right here, you'll see that its z-axis is pointing this way now. It's not pointing on the world's z-axis, which is forwards here. If I try to run this and press W, 
you move along the object Z axis. But what if you don't want to do that? If you want pressing W always going along the world Z axis, you need to specify that in the translate function. So you can say whatever this is, and then comma, space dot world. And what this will do is tell Unity that you don't want to use the, the object slogan axis, you want to use the world axis. If I run and press W, as you can see, the object's rotation doesn't matter anymore. You just go along the world axis. Okay, so that takes us to rotations. But for now, we'll go back to our local. So by default, it's local access. If you want world access, you need to specify it. Okay, so rotations. Um, what we're going to do is, we're just gonna set the rotation of our cube, uh, more specifically the Y rotation, using Q and E. Of course, you can do the X rotation the same way and the Z rotation the same way. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna be covering the Y rotation but you can expand that to any axis that you want. Um, all right, so we can say if input.getKey keycode.e, so if the E key is pressed, transform.rotate, and let's say we want to rotate by, um, let's say 40. Um, let's say our rotation would be equal to 40. So it would be 0, 0.0 F on the X, of course, because what we want is the Y axis, right? So 0, 0.0 F on the X, let's say 40 times time dot delta time, because we want it time dependent, and 0, 0.0 F on the Z, else, Input dot get key key code dot q. Of course, you're not constrained to these key codes. If you want it to rotate using the T key, you just need to replace it by T. But now I'm using Q and E because they're closer to the WASD keys. There we go. Uh, so if you press Q, you want to transform dot rotate 0 0.0 f negative 40.0f times time dot delta time and 0.0f on the z. Okay, now that we're done that, we can move around. As you can see, the object's axis is pointing this way right now. If we press E, you're going to the right, you're rotating right. If you press Q, you're rotating left. And of course, you can move and rotate at the same time. And uh, yeah, that pretty much covers rotations and movement within Unity. Um, I'll try to make another video going in more in depth about movement and rotations, but for now, this is just an introduction video. I really hope this helped you out. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.